welcome back to Ray Jewels. So today you will be little unfamiliar with this place because you must have seen this place a long ago and there are no videos coming up because of some issues. Like there was gonna be a video of upgrading my brakes from mechanical to hydraulic but I misplaced the front brake and now I'm not getting it. Uh, probably I'll search for the brake or I'll get a new one. So there will be a video of the upgradation. Again, I was gonna make a series of videos in my backyard, the backyard trail build. I was gonna make a new trail in our backyard, the berm line. But it's on hold because it's raining too much here in our region, a hell lot of rain. And there is no reason to rain here in the winter, but it's raining. And as the sun is up, I was building the berm. I extended the old berm and also rebuilt and rehauled the shark fin after it. And I was testing the shark fin. I was at a decent speed and got a little bucked on the shark fin. So my leg was on the outer edge of the pedal and I landed in the same position. So my crank got a little bit twisted. So today we are going to repair it. So let me show you the crank first. Here you can see the crank is little bit bent inside. Also there is no space left between the chain stay and the crank. Now I'll explain what actually happened. Normally, our foot is placed perfectly on the paddle, but in my case, it was a bit on the outer side. Not this much, yeah, it, and it kind of added a leverage to bend the crank. So now we'll remove the crank arm and try to straighten it. It's a little bit twisted and also bent inside. So let's first remove the crank arm. So now to remove the crank arm, we'll need a plier and a metal file without its handle and you'll know why we need these. Now it's time for our hat. Now to remove this end cap which in my case is rounded up and most probably it's rounded up with everyone. So there are no allen key grooves now. So take a file. Now we're gonna use this back end of the file, put it inside the rounded up hole and hammer it. Now as it is fixed, take the plier and we'll put it inside a little bit more and now twist it. So we have successfully loosened a rounded up crank end cap. So this hack works 99% of the time. And in some cases, it rounds the whole move. So be careful with it. Now let's clamp a crank in a vise and bend it back in shape with the help of an adjustable wrench. As I started bending it back, I learned that the table on which the vise is mounted is not steady enough. It started moving as I tried applying some force. Later, the table gave up. The plank pulled out. Now let's move to a sturdy and heavy machine vise. And hope this machine doesn't move. So the crank is straightened up and now it's in good shape. So we'll quickly box it back and take a test drive. First it was feeling a bit weird because of this bent crank and now we'll see how it feels. So we'll quickly assemble the bike. So I just now took the test ride and the crank is as good as new. It's so aligned and now I'm feeling that the other one is bent because this is so perfectly aligned. There might be some bent in the pedal axle but it's minor and I'll fix it later. But there is one problem. The crank which we work on 
has some bite marks from the vice. We clamped it, we twisted it with this panel. So I have an idea to remove that marks and I'll show you the idea. So let's quickly remove those both cranks and we'll get to the work. The idea to remove the bite marks is to buff both the cranks and then shine them like a mirror. After buffing them with a rough wheel, I then changed the wheel to a soft and fine cloth wheel and adding some polishing compound, here's how they look. Oh, what's that shining there? Oh, they are my cranks. Just kidding. So that's all for today's video. Today, we repaired the bent crank and then shined it like a mirror. Hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. In our next video, we'll meet with some crazy and unique hacks. Till then, goodbye and keep pedaling.